All right, so thinking about how you would control the flow and structure of your program is going to be an important thing, especially if you have an animation with multiple parts, like you're going to do for your homework, where you're going to have three scenes that you want to have transition automatically. Um, there's lots of ways you could think about doing this, but a really good and useful tool for this is a structure called flags. And flags are basically a Boolean variable that then uh, allows us to change what's being seen in our program. So to kind of start outlining this, we need, uh, let's say we have an animation with two, two different scenes, uh, an intro screen and then a main screen. Uh, so I'm gonna create a variable called show intro, and I'm gonna set that to true because I want it to start at that um, on that screen. And then the structure in my draw is gonna use that to decide what gets displayed. And I think a good way to think about your draw is like an outline for your sketch. Ideally, draw does not contain all the details of all the drawing commands, all that stuff. You can move those to a function, and then your draw is like a script, a really high-level script where we can read and quickly see, and then you can go into those functions to make changes. It makes your code more readable, easier to maintain, stuff like that. So I can say if show intro, then we can run the function intro, else main sketch. Super easy, and this is gonna be all that shows up in our draw, the whole thing, really, really easy. Um, again, it makes it easy for us to see and read and make changes to and that kind of thing. Um, now let's add some content. Um, I'm gonna make this super simple. So, you know, I'm actually gonna just paste this in because you don't need to watch me code this whole thing. Um, so here's our intro this part here. It draws the background in here because maybe you want the background color to be different. Um, and I'm using some text on the screen. And we haven't talked about typography much yet. Um, in Creative Programming 2, we're going to do a project on um, type and interactive type and stuff like that. So we're not going to go into a ton of detail here. But in order to use a font, you know, there's two ways to do this. One would be to load a font from your computer or create a font that's included with your sketch. That's a little complicated. Uh, but we do need a variable called font. There are fonts that are called uh, WebSafe fonts. And you can look those up here. These are fonts that basically everybody has some version of on their computer. So you can count on Georgia, Times New Roman, usually Arial or Helvetica, um, Comic Sans, whatever you wanna use. So those are options for sure. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just load uh, Georgia here. Uh, if you want to use your own font, you would have to look at the reference for that. And so now let's go ahead and run this and just make sure everything is working. And we should see this intro screen. It's got some info and then it's saying press any key to start. So it's giving us kind of a clue of how to kick this off. Um, to make that work then, how do we transition from this intro screen to the main sketch? Um, in order to do that, we need to have a key pressed function which we covered in the interactivity demos. And this is super simple. We can just say show intro is false. That's it. We switch the variable. And then what's going to happen is when we press this key, now show intro is not going to be true. And it's going to run the main sketch. I'm going to go ahead and dump that stuff in here as well. Boom. Save it. And now when we run it, if I press the space bar key or any key on screen, Ah, <laughs> we get to see this other scene happen. Um, you could, of course, tie the change instead of to be a key press. Maybe it's from a timer, like in the last example, using the frame count or milliseconds. Um, it could be based on an object's X or Y position where it automatically changes scenes, et cetera, like that. Um, let's think about, okay, maybe we want this then to have three scenes. How would we do that? Well, we would need to create another variable Maybe we'll call it show main sketch. That's going to be equal to false. And so, because we can't have them both be true, that would be a problem. So show intro is true, main sketch is false. Then we would say, else if show main sketch, then we draw the main sketch. And then maybe for our third scene, we could create a function for that. I'm just going to go ahead and do something simple. Uh, let's do a black background for that. So if we're, with now we want to make this change. Let's say we want to do it all with key press. In here again, we could say if 
show intro. So if we're on the intro screen, show intro is false, show main sketch is true. Else if we're on the show main sketch, then this would be false. And you could make a third variable for last scene or whatever, but in this case, you know, we don't really need it. And now we see the intro screen, we see this screen, and then we go to the last screen. You could then add so that it comes back around to the intro again. So thinking about the flow of your animation, maybe you want to have a start and a stop, maybe you want it to loop, that kind of thing. Um, but flags are a really helpful, simple structure. Um, there's other ways to do it. You could use um, numbers to keep track of which scene is being displayed or whatever, um, but it's a really simple structure. And I think the biggest takeaway is using your draw as a really high level, um, like uh, outline or script for your sketch, and then moving all the details into separate functions, um, which will easily let you control and make changes to your sketch.